Hey, I'm Andrew Jones. This is art cast number 45, and today I'm drawing Stevie Nicks. So let's just jump right in. What I've done here is I've actually printed out this um, initial sketch which I did in Photoshop on a computer and um, especially for things that I'm doing as a commission that I need to be laid out just right with the, the proportions right and the likeness right and all that a lot of times I'll do it on the computer um, just a really rough version and we'll print that out and then transfer it to uh, my paper um, and then put pencil on the back, just a, a pencil rubbing on the back, and then trace it with a ballpoint pen uh, to get it transferred to the actual gray paper that I'm going to do the final drawing on. You probably saw my big head in the frame there uh, for a second. As I get older, my eyesight's not exactly what it used to be, so for a lot of these little details, especially when it's got to be a, a good likeness, I've got to get super close to the paper and take my glasses off and everything. It's, it's pathetic. So this is the first time you'll see me doing uh, two cameras for an art cast. Um, I wanted to play around a little bit more with recording with my new uh, Nikon DSLR. I have a, just got a Nikon D3400 not too long ago. Uh, mostly just been using it for photography, but um, I wanted to, to try it out for taking HD video this what you're seeing as this overhead shot is actually my iphone 7 which isn't too bad i mean the video quality is pretty good um, but i definitely wanted to kind of change things up a little bit eventually i'd like to do all the recording with the dslr but getting it to mount on something right above the the work area is going to be a little bit of a challenge i'm probably going to have to build something So this is pretty sped up. Um, all of this footage is going to be about 600, I think 600% speed. And uh, it's a lot, especially in this particular piece, it's a lot of tedious work. There's a lot of work on the hair. And if you know anything about Stevie Nicks, there's lots and lots of lace, which is, which is pretty tedious uh, to draw. But um, even if it's not as detailed as, as, uh, as what I'm doing, uh, which isn't very detailed at all. It's always a challenge here to get a good representation of hair without trying to get too detailed, like trying to, you kind of tend to want to try to draw every individual strand and you just, you really can't do that. So I spent some time just kind of looking at other artists and how they do that, particularly um, Drew Struzan's pieces where, you know, just to see how he handles um, hair, particularly female hair. And a lot of this is kind of just going in and drawing the negative space around um, some of the, the highlighted hair. If you just kind of hit some of those areas, um, you don't really have to go in and get a lot of detail. This is actually the second time that I've drawn this exact same illustration from this exact same photo. <clears throat> Not too long ago, I did one for my nephew's birthday. I found out that he uh, was a big fan of Stevie Nicks and Fleetwood Mac, and I decided to do a, a little illustration for him uh, using this photo reference. And same size, same gray paper, basically the exact same drawing. And uh, gave it to him he loved it i had it all framed up and, and shipped it to him and um not too long ago one of my neighbors saw it and asked if it was available i said well you can you can buy print because uh, I, I have a print of it on etsy and a couple other places i think and she said no i, I want the original i want this exact drawing so um, she commissioned me to do this exact same drawing again, uh, which is the version that you're seeing me draw now. I'm not always super good with likenesses, but I, I think this one 
um, and the version that I did, the original version before this, I actually think it turned out pretty well. But it's a lot of uh, it's a lot of detail work. I usually go in with one <clears throat> one weight of, of pencil to start with. So this one, I don't even know what this pencil is, but um, I go in with one darkness, kind of go over the whole thing, and then as you go, just move up to darker and darker leads on the pencil. So as I said at the beginning, this is episode 45. Um, hard to believe that I've done this many. I haven't been doing a lot. I forget when the last one was, 44 was that illustration um, from the movie Trick or Treat, which I liked a lot. And uh, I just haven't had a chance to do any more. I've been really busy doing uh, freelance web development uh, stuff for my job and I'm starting to do a lot more little handy projects, trying to get into some woodworking and stuff, which just as a, a little hint, I might be doing some videos for that kind of stuff very soon. I'm hoping <clears throat> to actually do uh, to get on a more reg regular schedule with these videos. It's just, <clears throat> I've been going way too long between them. And a lot of it is just because it just takes so long, this process, like for instance, this uh, illustration right here, it took me probably four or five evenings to find the time to actually sit down and draw it. Uh, so you'll see lighting changes here because some of it was done in the daytime, some at night, you'll probably see my clothes change. Um, but just trying to grab time here and there to actually finish it. Uh, plus all the extra time that it takes to set up the cameras and make sure everything's recording. And then after it's done, um, got to capture all the video to the computer, go through all the footage, get it all laid out, get something edited that makes halfway sense. Um, that makes sense. And um, try to get <clears throat> trimmed down to a length that um, I think people will tolerate actually watching. Um, I'm sure people kind of skip around, but I think for the most part, people want to see the entire process, even if they don't actually sit and watch it from beginning to end. There'll probably be some that where I don't, I don't actually go through the whole process and I'm skipping around quite a bit here too. There's, there's a bunch that I've actually cut out just for, just for time. Cause you don't want to see me drawing every little individual uh, piece of this lace. So I don't think you do. It's weird how when you're drawing certain things kind of get imprinted on your brain like as I was drawing this um, I had the movie Tremors on in the background and uh, it's weird because I'm watching myself draw this and thinking of like what scenes were on at the time does anybody else do that A lot of people <clears throat> in the last few years have been asking when I'm going to do another studio tour. My original tour was three or four years ago, I think, and um, that video, my first art cast video, has gotten, I, the last time I checked it was like 63,000 views or something like that, which is crazy. Um, so thank everybody, thank you everybody that has, has watched that and subscribed. I'm now over, I think, 1,100 subscribers. So um, thank you for that. If you're subscribed, if you haven't, um, go ahead and click that subscribe button because there's gonna be more 
uh, frequent content going up, including the new studio tour, which I hope to get going within a couple weeks. Um, I'm not real happy with uh, my lighting and sound setup, so I want that to be improved a little bit before I actually try to do that. Uh, the studio tour video will probably be pretty long because I've completely redone everything since that last video. Some of it will be a little repetitious if you saw the first one, but um, there's a bunch of new stuff, new processes and things that um, I'm just going to go over as if it were the first time I'd ever done it. And this is the, the fun part for me is going in with the white highlights. That's when things actually start to, to really take shape and start looking like the the piece you'll end up with but again this is some tedious stuff especially when you're going by photo reference that isn't exactly super high resolution so you just you kind of just see a few blobs of things here and there that you can't get a lot of detail on so you just kind of have to guess and extrapolate from what you can make out in the actual photo. If you don't know what that little glove thing I'm wearing is it's called a smudge guard and basically it's just like a, a glove with one finger um, it just one finger on the, the pinky finger um, and it just helps to keep from smudging pencils um, and also I use it for my uh, tablets and my uh, Cintiq tablet because it helps uh, well it helps keep from getting oils and things from your your skin onto the screen but it also helps you be able to make more long flowing strokes without your your palm kind of bumping up and down on the surface i've got about three of these things and a couple of them are worn out i'm going to have to get a couple new ones See there, I've just <clears throat> skipped skipped ahead quite a bit because even I'm getting bored watching this. And again, the photo reference isn't real clear on on what that what's on that material. It looks to be some kind of floral pattern, but just kind of got to take a stab at it. enjoyed working on this leg for some reason. Now 
Now I'm going through with some more uh, darker pencil, just kind of adding some some shadows to the, the other sides of these some of these folds and in, in some of these little valleys, and that brings the highlight highlights out just a little bit more. There's really no part of this that are really super dark. Um, I didn't want to, I thought about going back through with even like a black colored pencil, um, but I didn't want any one area to be too overpowering because then I might have to, I think I would be tempted to go back and try to balance things out and I think that might just have overworked it. But again, it's just kind of a, a back and forth. Do a little bit of light, do a little bit of dark. Um, go in with another darker pencil. Um, it just seems like you're going over things just in multiple passes. And then the trick is to know when to stop. I get so worried going back to any part of the face, just worried that I'm gonna to mess something up at the last minute. adding a few border lines to kind of frame it up a little bit. Now here I took that same sketch that I was using to transfer the pencil to, cut out that part of it, and now I'm using my Copic uh, air gun, which is basically just a Copic marker um, connected to this little gun connected to my compressor. And it basically just flows over the marker tip and kind of simulates an airbrush. So I thought that that one little uh, that one little touch right there to make that corner darker really makes her kind of stand out even more. I thought it was a, a nice little touch. It worked out pretty good. So that's it. I hope you guys like this. Um, it was fun to draw. This was the second time I've done it and I think it came out just as good if not better than the first one. Um, this is going to get um, probably a quick uh, spray um, of a matte finish just to protect it and it will go into the, the hands of its new owner very soon. Um, another quick note, um, this is episode 45 so there are 44 other videos um, that you can see in the archive. I also wanted to give a quick thanks to everyone who subscribed so far. I just recently passed 1100 subscriptions, um, 1163 I think and that's pretty amazing. I definitely want to keep growing the channel. So I'm going to try to set a goal, maybe to try to get a video up of some form, whether it's a finished piece like this, or just a sketch, or something on my iPads, anything that I can put up on a regular weekly basis. So shooting for, for one a week, at least. And then also, I <clears throat> wanted to thank everybody who had watched my previous studio tour, which was actually ArtCast number one, which was, um, three years ago, something like that, and it's passed, I think, over 60,000 views, so everybody who's watched that, thank you so much. Um, you probably noticed there's a little bit different here from the last time I did a video of my studio, and there's a lot different actually all around the room, but um, I'm actually going to be doing a new studio tour, hopefully within the next week or so, um, so hold tight, um, it's going to be a good one, it'll probably be really long, but there's going to be a lot to go through. So. Um, until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.